All right, guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about background today. One of the videos that I just got through putting out was the bus analysis. Uh, we did a just kind of a quick overview of some of the potential problems that occurred when we saw the uh, female uh, police officer go on board the bus and then the guy close distance on her, grab control of the weapon. This is actually a perfect example of some of the methodology that I've uh, discussed about the fact that it is actually in my best interest to close distance on that individual and gain control of the weapon than it is for me to try and gain distance and achieve some sort of a safe distance. But for the purpose of this, one of the things that I wanted to point out was there's a particular instance on that video where background becomes an issue. Now in this particular instance, a, uh, the secondary officer boards the bus once the officer and the assailant are actually tangled up into a grappling match over the weapon, he is not able to actually fire because of background. There is one instance in the video where the back of the assailant is facing that second officer, but he still can't take the run, or run the risk rather of firing that shot because bullets don't stop always on their intended target. There are times when they go beyond and they over-penetrate. There are times when you run the risk of sending rounds, stray rounds, you know, off in peripheral areas. So as a shooter, you are every bit as responsible for the background in the direction that you're shooting as well as for their intended target. So something to keep in mind. Now one of the methods that we teach is to clear our garment, to close that distance. And what I want to do is I want to get in and I want to close and I want to gain that positive lean. I want to put him on his heels where he is actually backtracking on that hit. If I see this individual in a stance where I feel my life is threatened and I am justified to pull my weapon, whether it's a gun, a knife, a bat, whatever the situation is, I want to put him on his heels. He is going to have a greater degree of difficulty if he cannot establish a shooting platform and if I don't give him opportunity to fire on me. We've talked about this in some other videos. So as I close distance on him, I want to get in, close that distance, and I want to hit him and drive him off balance, as opposed to some of the old methodologies, which involved us striking to the face, clearing our garment, and then drawing as we retreat back. Remember, once I'm retreating back, my weight is going backwards. He is, chances are, not going to stop on that initial hit, especially if we're in a situation where he is the attacker. I am almost certainly going to get driven back. Once my butt goes back over beyond my heels, I am in a state of falling right now. And the chance of me being able to regain my balance is going to be just increasingly difficult. So I want to drive in on him. Well, one of the things that I want you to notice is, as I get that weapon, I want you to notice that muzzle. So as I'm pointing in on him, I'm driving, I want you to notice how that muzzle is pointed on a downward angle. In a, certain, in a circumstance where I may not be in control of my background, but I don't have a choice, I have to respond to this threat in front of me, my background can be controlled by not just the X and the Y, I can control my background through the Z as well. Now there are circumstances where I may drop and place rounds upward. I would not necessarily do that in this situation, it would be counterintuitive. But I can close in on him, driving him backwards so that I can keep that muzzle pointed in that downward direction. This will minimize the chance of me being able to of over penetrating that target and putting rounds off beyond the target where I don't intend them to be. So something to, uh, to think about is as I drive in, I want to make sure that his balance is being driven back. I want to make sure that I have that positive lean forward because this helps with my whole body kinesthetics to be able to just line that muzzle up and to get into that hip abdominal region for those first couple of shots. Once I'm in that situation and I'm able to place those first couple of shots in there, if I need to cut a 45 and be able to move up to the head, I can do so from a retention or a compression position. But my initial strike, if I go to that position, I'm going to run the risk of being disarmed. So, something to think.